Greetings and salutations and welcome back to Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. So, uh, first of all, yes, good, I did save. I wasn't sure for a moment there. So, when last we played, um, let's see. We found ourselves playing as Gabriel Knight, an author and bookstore owner in uh, New Orleans in the United States. And uh, he's researching the local voodoo murders, um, a set of grisly murders that have been happening in quite public places in recent times. And uh, he's doing this uh, in the hopes of uh, finding inspiration for his next book, which he's having some trouble with. Um, he's also having terrible nightmares. There are some mysteries regarding his uh, family history. Um, yeah, and that's about as far as we've gotten thus far. Uh, we have some items, um, yeah, and that's about it. Um, I think I've spoken with Grace for today. But let me just minute. double check. Uh, let's see. Okay. Nope. Okay. Tell me. What else? Uh, could you sure. Nothing there. Okay. Messages? Yeah. Nope. Okay. I think that's everything. Uh, naturally, in a, a more casual playthrough, I would probably talk to Grace about herself and all of that sort of stuff. But this is already a fairly talky sort of game, um, which is a slightly ironic sort of thing to say, considering that this whole business is me talking. Um, So, uh, yes, I want to try to sort of keep things moving a little bit. Uh, what do I do? Pick it up? Ah, there we go. I don't remember whether I did this last session or not. <clears throat> Sorry if you hear me drinking. Uh, I'll probably be drinking uh, some of my hot chocolate on and off as we go through this. Um, so my apologies if you hear me drinking. Do stay hydrated though. <clears throat> it looked really after him. Elsewhere there's an article about the history of Jackson. Ah, a hint at where we might want to go today perhaps. La Plaza d'Arma. Under French rule, it was used for executions, firing squads, hanging, even impalement and breaking on the wheel. Yes. Lovely. Of course. These days, it's mostly a hangout for tourists, street musicians, and local artists. Nice. Gabriel also scanned the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Chances of a dark star rising. Mm, right, we did listen to this bit. I... Do not trust your instinct. I feel a dark star rising, all right. <laughs> that hell wasn't bad, actually. That, that, nicely done, Tim Carrey. Um, <clears throat> is there anything to be done here? No, I don't think we have anything more to do at the bookstore um, for today. I've got some things I need to do. Good luck. But we have plenty of stuff to do out in New Orleans. Um, now let's see. I don't know that we have much more to do at um, Gabriel's grandmother's house just yet, or at the police, um, the crime scene. We can visit the Gedi estate, that's the uh, the young lady that we encountered at the crime scene. Uh, we also were told that uh, the proprietor of this historical museum 
historical voodoo museum might be present um, today when we tried to visit yesterday, so that's worth doing. Likely going to be something going on there. We might want to visit some of these other places as well, uh, including the cemetery. So let's start there. We st stepped into the cemetery briefly um, yesterday, but didn't get much done save for getting uh, a picture of these um, these markings here. Uh, which I suppose were made with this brick. Near the Laveau tomb is a piece of red brick. Undoubtedly a cast off from spiritual graffiti writers. Can we use Why it? Uh, can we take it? Oh, we can, nice. Uh, well, let's talk with this, uh, this groundskeeper. I'm sorry, Bob. You got, got something to say, son? Mind if I pick your brain a minute? Go ahead. These folks ain't in no hurry. <laughs> Again, some really lovely portrait art here. Uh, what can you tell me yeah. about voodoo? They say it was part of an old religion from Africa. Bought here by slaves. Anything what else? What can you tell me about voodoo? I don't really care to talk about it. I don't, I don't do, do it, it myself. myself. Yeah, fair enough. What do you know <clears throat> about the voodoo murders? Ain't it just awful to find those bodies with voodoo things around them? I don't think there's any real voodoo going on. Somebody's trying to cover their tracks is all. Mm-hmm. Uh, snakes? Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? I see snakes around here all the time. Most of them ain't important, this course. Um, St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve. Why, St. John the Baptist is the patron saint of voodoo. Sometimes we get some weird going on in that cemetery on that night. More often a few nights before, people taking grave dirt, bones, and mold. That's pretty disgusting. <laughs> yep. Don't know what they do with them. They can't be pretty. Hmm, lovely. Um, uh, maybe you know about this. Do you have any idea? What Gabri Saint Gaur means? No, no, can't say that I do. Now we heard that if you weren't here for the previous session, we heard that uh, from the proprietor of a local voodoo shop when uh, when we asked him about the voodoo murders, he muttered Gabri Saint Gaur, um, which I'm probably mangling in pronunciation, but that's the basic idea. So we're going around asking everyone about it, as per usual. I doubt you'll know about that. Um, what about Tell this? Tell me something about St. Louis Cemetery, number one. You know why the dead are buried in tombs and not in the ground, don't you? The water table's too high. Them coffins would float right out of their graves. Hmm, lovely. <laughs> Them dead would go float right down into the quarry. Of <laughs> course, if it were Mardi Gras, nobody'd even notice. Hmm. Anyway, I don't think we have much more to uh, ask him there. I wonder whether we can show him the markings here. Oh, we can. Does this mean anything to you? Joe, I see them marks all the time on tombs. Don't know what they mean, you know. Oh, we'll find out in due course, I do believe. Uh, what in, that, in that case, do you know anything about this pattern? I doubt it. Does this mean anything to you? No. Nope. Didn't think so. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go looking for our family grave. Uh, we're supposed to uh, come here and uh, and pay our respects, I suppose. No pressing F or anything like that. <clears throat> oh, we didn't actually hit the exit. Ah, this I believe is the one. The right. Family tomb. The right place to visit. Several of Gabriel and Grand's family members are laid to rest here. Um. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Rebecca's, Rebecca's grandson. grandson. Much as when they were alive, the right elders give no response. Oof, ouch. And he's off. We just have to wait for his animation to finish. Here we go. Grand talks a lot about you, Harley. Uh, I suppose we should know who these people are. Okay, Franklin Wright. 
Meryl Planter, right. Okay, so gra his grandmother's parents. Granddaddy. Ah. Grandsister. She died young. Grandfather and uh, what would that be? Grand aunt? Uh, grand aunt, I suppose, something like that. Ah. Mother, mother and Dad. father. Okay. Um. How's it going, Granddaddy? Miss you, Mom. Hey. Daddy. Uh, hi. I'm Rebecca's grandson. Much as. Okay. It's. <laughs> right, we can't, uh, can't ask questions of them. That's perhaps for the better. Anyway, we've paid our respects. I don't know whether we can leave flowers or anything, but. Uh... Now, we don't yet have anything to do here, but. This is an interesting place. We know this name. The imposing tomb is elaborately labeled Gede. Mm, for now, we're just going to have to Gede out of here. Dramatically over a stone plinth marks the entrance to a large tomb. Let's look at some interesting things small first. Marble plate near the tomb doors. And can we say open that plate? The plate is locked in position. There's a keyhole on the plate. But Gabriel can't operate that without a key. Hmm, well, that's not for now, I'm afraid. But we'll be back, I do dare say. We'll be back. Alright, so we've uh, done our due diligence in uh, paying our respects. We've encountered this stuff. We've encountered the Gedi tomb. We've talked with the groundskeeper. Come on, where's the exit? For some reason, the exit there is sort of is somewhat pixel perfect. Um, now, how about let's go to the police station, see if we can talk with Mosley. That's interesting. And off he goes. Uh, <clears throat> Frick, can you, uh, will you let us in, please? Got a second, officer? Hmm. What can I do you for? No, they're on their, only on their first officer. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's at his office. Go on back. Thank you. Uh, you know, well, I, I know who, uh, who to talk to for that, I think. Uh, I'm not going to bother everyone with it. I do like that there's a little serpent symbol on this thing. Um, nice little uh, bit of foreshadowing in a sense. Hello, Mosley. Detective Mosley. Hard at work, I see. Night, I had a feeling you'd show up. Ah, let's what would we have around here? Logs of unsolved cases, perhaps? Mosley must have a million of them. Mosley's desk has more groin on it than on his head. Ouch. Uh, all right, uh, well, let's just talk with him. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Um, tell me about the voodoo murders. Lots. Can you be more specific? Ooh, lots that we can talk, ask him about. Do we know anything about the killers? How many murders have there been so far? What kind of evidence have they found? Describe the crime scenes. What does the coroner say? Any witnesses? Know anything about the victims? Or, oh, nothing, never mind. Right, well, let's just go through this. Do you know anything about killers? At least 20 people... Have Little point-and-click conversation. Fogulous. Are those as good as fingerprints? Can be. But we'd have to have a suspect in custody first. And the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Hmm, Most tricky. Of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. Yeah, makes These sense. So especially with that many. Their expertise is maddening. Like they know we'll never find them. Yeah, funny that. How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the Voodoo Murders case. That's that a lot. The first murder occurred about eight weeks ago. 
The MO was the same in each murder. Lake Ponchar train was the seven. Hmm. What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints, a few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. I thought the leopard. footprints were bears. Yeah, a few bare footprints. Now there's the corpse itself, minus the heart. Around where the body was killed, we find marks and flour and blood. There are traces of wax and candles, red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Also blood and feathers of chickens. Also goat's blood. Hmm. And plenty of the victim's own, of course. Naturally. Oops, What's there the we go. say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Lovely. Any, Any idea, idea what, what they, they do with them? Don't, don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. <laughs> Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Well, we've seen something like that. Any witnesses? Nope. There's, There's never, never been, been a single witness. No one's even heard of disturbance. Curious. It's weird. Like they just don't want people to see, and so nobody sees nothing. Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out of town. We still don't know why. Oh, no. Sure. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of information about the voodoo murders. It is, they are incredibly brazen. Um and rather disturbing in short uh what else he's not going to know much about these things i think maybe a little bit about st john's eve oh that's worth what noting tell me about with first uh, having that's coming up isn't it we get some occasional weirdness in the quarter but nothing much we used to have a lot of strange things happen though or so i hear hmm okay What's the status on the Voodoo Murray's case? It's going. Can't seem to make any progress, though. Sluggish damn case. Weird. Um. <laughs> Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah, weird, huh? All set of victims have those little marks around. We got all the marks on file, but we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. Hmm. Can I see the other six patterns? Oh, we'll want those. Sure. People like that kind of stuff, don't they? Might make the book seem more mysterious. Uh huh, sure, the book. Nice, okay. So that's a start. I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great. What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Got any more ideas for photos for the book? Uh, yeah. A cop or the photo might be nice. You and me? Together? Why not? Of course, you'll have to try to tone down your masculinity. Well, okay. Now I'll call the police photographer. Good use of police resources, of course. Frank? Come here, Come here minute, would you? you? Bring, Bring your, your camera. camera. We're slightly too early on this though, if I recall. We'll have to redo it in a bit, but uh, we'll get a, a quick view of uh, the basics. Let me just see what this, where's the uh, speed? Uh, oh no, is this one, this one doesn't have speed. Oh well. Chris, what I said speed. What did you need, Detective Mosley? Previously, but we maybe I'm mistaken. Make, make it a good, good one, huh, sweetheart? Sure, sweetheart. Say, Chintzy. Was there anything else, Matt? Uh, no, not nope. for now. That's about, That's about it. it. Great. Great. Thanks, Thanks Frank. Frank. Hey, I made, I made it rhyme. rhyme. You're astonishing, mostly. I don't, I don't call me that in front of the lady wise guy.
Okay, we have some stuff to set up before we do that. Um, whoops, that's the one we want. Can't take the door. Okay, so we want to start by talking with Officer Franks here and getting those uh, photos. Can I ask you a few questions, ma'am? I'm sorry, sir, but I really have to finish these reports. Um, maybe we have to talk to her? Excuse me, officer. Yes. Ah, there we are. I don't know why these are cons not considered questions, but all right. Uh, yes. Can you get a file for me? What, what file, file would that be? The voodoo murder file? Detective, Detective Mosley said, said I could see it. Really? Well, if he said so. There it is. You can look at it all you want, but don't leave this area with it, okay? And no photocopies either, I'm afraid. Of course, I understand completely. Naturally, this is a little inconvenient for us. Um, so, we're not actually going to do anything with it right now. Uh, which one was it? Is it that? It's the old picture. Right, so what we want to do is put that back for now. I'm done. Yeah. And go back to most to oh wait 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 no I forgot one thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I skip the animation? No, I cannot. Okay. Well uh, I want to tinker with this thing a bit if I can. And uh, let's turn it all the way up. Now we go back in. This achieves two things. One, it's going to be a little warm for poor Mosley, and he's going to take off his jacket, which contains some stuff that we want. It's hot. As you see. And the air conditioning must be on the blink. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Are you hot? Damn, I'm hot. Right. Um... Can I ask you? Let me see, is there anything else I can... Yes, first of all, I'm going to ask him to get me a coffee. Get him out of the room, you know. <clears throat> He's off, leaving his jacket behind. Ah, good old uh, classic point-and-click adventure, convoluted kleptomania. It's part of the fun, really. Tum -ti -tum -ti -tum. I think I'll just borrow his badge. The, his police badge, please hey, note. What are you doing with my coat? Nothing. I thought I saw something <laughs> crawling on it. <laughs> Just drink this. So that's the first thing done. The next thing is we're going to want another photograph. A minute. In short, we're going to want to get uh, we want to get Franks out of that room so that she doesn't catch us uh, making photocopies. Can I ask you? So let's uh, ask about another photograph. So uh, let's take another couple of the shot. What? I don't think we got your best side. Really? Okay. I'll have Frank's come in here. Frank, come back in here with that camera. I like that there's actually extra dialogue. Uh, specifically for the case of repeating this this action, they don't just um, they don't just have the same lines play again the second time around. Yeah, nice bit of attention to detail and forethought. What else could I possibly have to do? Anything else, Matt? 
Uh, excuse me while I go oh, check my so hair. I'll go check my hair. Good God, mate. Make, Make it fast. fast. Right, so, let's be quick. We're not going to get away with just taking this, this entire file with us. Uh, someone will likely notice that it's gone, but we can make some copies quickly. Just want to check this machine here. Now we want to put that back. Right, and then we can actually use this. The mirror reflect. Yeah, yes, so uh, one way mirror. Looking good, yeah. Check our hair as we said we would. And go in. I don't know, I don't think we need to check our hair, especially since he does so anyway. But uh, for very similitude, you know. Hurry up, would you? Okay, ready. Thanks, son. Let me know when you got the fella. Uh, the photos, that is. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that was a little uncomfortable, I will admit, that interaction. But, uh, yep, we're done here for now. Um, if I can find the open... Mind and we're off. I'm gonna hit the road. Ciao, baby. Right now that we're done uh, stealing police property and all of that, let's uh, let's head out and see what uh, what other crimes we can commit. Wouldn't be a point-and-click adventure if we weren't, you know, casually committing crimes in the uh, interests of our personal uh, affairs. Uh, let's see. So we have these people playing chess. Uh, I don't really, actually don't think we have much to do here just yet. Um, other than let's let's know there's another drummer here. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I think let's let's just go. Um. Let's see. Uh. Oh, uh, yes, let's... Anything going on in the cathedral yet? I'm not sure. No. I didn't think so, somehow. Okay, now I know more or less where I'm supposed to go, I believe. I just want to check the rest of the, uh, of the square first. Okay, this guy's here. Right, 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 right. Okay, I know what to do with them. We don't need them just yet, I don't think. Ah, and here we go. This is where we want to be. Uh, but first, let's take a look at what we got here. Um, Gabriel has yeah. a photocopy of the official police file containing the partial patterns from the voodoo murders. Let's have a look. So here we are. Okay, nothing new there. But yeah, various sort of curves and lines and circles and so on. And not an awful lot that can be done with it just yet. Those two objects with Okay. Well let's go and chat with this artist, shall we? Could I ask you some questions? I'd rather not. I, I really get focused when I'm drawing. Okay, fine. Ooh, can we just talk with him? Nice drawing on the cathedral. cathedral. Thanks. It's, it's really precise. precise. Well, well, I'm an architectural student, student actually. actually. It's, it's good, good practice. practice. Nice. Um, well, can you do anything with these drawings? Say, so, do you think, think there's anything, anything you can do with these patterns? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of busy. busy. I don't normally do requests. Oh, okay. Well, uh, hmm. Maybe not yet. Say, I'm a oh. Mm, can I convince him I'm a cop? What, Woody? No. Hmm. No, uh, looks like we might not be able to do this yet. I'm not quite sure what uh, what kicks it off, but uh, all right. 
clearly uh, we're here a bit too early then. Uh, is there a, there's no quick map button, is there? No, okay, we're just going to have to uh, walk to the nearest exit. Was there a, I'm trying to remember, oh, I thought there was a speed slider, it just wasn't available. I'm going to bump up the speed just a trifle, I think. There we go, and keep things moving a little. Uh, oops, hi. Uh, where's the exit from Jackson Square again? Uh, maybe there is no exit. We can never escape. <laughs> We're locked in an unending circle and... Ah, uh, uh, no, here's the exit. Um, oh, there's the overlook. Let's have a look at that, at that quickly. We don't technically need to do it just yet, but it's fun. Uh, let's use one of these. Yeah, see, we can... Uh, there's some definite drift there. I wonder whether that was what was making the uh, interesting. I wonder whether that was what was making the um, the clock puzzle so difficult. And it's only when the mouse is at the top. That is weird. Hold on. I wonder if that changes if I move my window around a bit. So it's still drifting there. Uh, oops, don't do that. Want to move this here. No, still drifting. Weird. All right, well, it's not a major issue. It just means I might have to fight a bit. Okay, moving along then. Anyway, so yeah, so we can look at various bits of Jackson Square at range. There's a, quite a nice view of the cathedral, which is quite a nice cathedral. The original church on this site was built in 1724 and was named for Louis IX of France. That church burnt in the Great Fire of 1788. The present church dates from 1851. Hmm, okay. A little bit of history there. Uh, where's the exit? There's the exit. Right, so let's get some actual stuff done. I think let's start here. Which I think we'll bump into an event. If I... No, not yet. Hello. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, here we are. Bonjour, Mr. Walker. Oh, bienvenue, Marcarlo. Comment ça va? How you be feeling today? When I tell you, Mr. Walker, I'm certain someone's buried a sleep knock bag somewhere near my steps. I haven't slept a week in weeks. Wow. Oh, don't that be low. Well, you're going to need some easy night candles then. Do you think that would help? I do hope you're right. I said three rosaries this morning for our lady's intervention. Rosaries are good, sure enough. But you burn those candles too, and you're going to put any old no sleep greedy, I tell you for sure. Very well, Mr. Walker. Put them on my account and send them round to my house. Oh, and there's another thing. I didn't catch her on it, but I know this is a fair who stopped making powder in my tea at the last meeting of the Creole Front Dance. Oh, I've been in misery. You put nine pin heads up in a little box, add a pinch of graveyard dust, and put it under her front porch step. That'll turn the trick back on Mrs. Lefevre, and she'll be the one with the bellyache. I have the pins and the dust that she has you on them. If the Blessed Virgin will grant me her protection, I'll be safe from these practitioners of evil. We, oui, madame. But we don't want her to be proactive, none either. Not does it. Not well, monsieur. Never say so good. Maybe no, madame. It is nothing. Au revoir. Au revoir, Monsieur Walker. This is the place, let me remind you, uh, that sold no actual voodoo stuff. 
according to its proprietor when we last spoke to him. So, what was that, I Mr. Walker? Uh, let's see. That customer of yours, the little old lady. Customer? The woman I saw in here, Madame Cazonu, you call her. I don't talk about my customers, the men who come in off the street. That's not entirely unfair, actually. It's important that I talk to Madame Cazonu. You, you see, see, I'm doing, doing some research, research and I can't, can't tell, tell you anything, anything about her. It's important. I can't. Okay. Um. There is. I'm wondering if I, how I can get this thing to uh, acknowledge the mask. Maybe I need a reason for it. Anyway, let's move on. So we gained uh, some information there. We might be interested in speaking with Madame Casano. All right, and let's go to the Historical Beauty Museum. Let's uh, hear about some historical beauty. This is Welcome actually quite interesting, I think, this bit. Hello. I am the proprietor, Dr. John. If and Michael Dawn, questions, in fact. Very cool. Great. My name is nice. And watches of Star Trek might know as Worf. Uh, now, remember that business about the murders being carried out via a wavy bladed knife? Something about the shape of that knife gives Gabriel the creeps. It's not terribly clear on the sprite, but that I'm pretty sure is a wavy bladed knife. Uh, anyway, uh, let's have a chat with Dr. John. Slowly, apparently. Can I ask you some questions? That is why I am here. Uh, tell me about voodoo. Historical voodoo? Or the voodoo currently practiced in the city? So we have... Yeah, a font of information in this guy. So uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Let's start with the voodoo murders, though. The voodoo murders. The killings in the newspaper? I know that they have nothing to do with true voodoo in New Orleans. Of course not. What, what makes, makes you think the voodoo, voodoo murders aren't being done by local practitioners? Voodoo is a popular boogeyman, Mr. Knight, especially in New Orleans. Anyone can pretend to use it, just as anyone can pretend to be a black belt in karate, and for the same reason, to intimidate. I know voodoo in this city, Mr. Knight, and believe me, it is not about killing. Even the police have stated that the killings have nothing to do with local voodoo. So, so you, you know, know nothing, nothing about, about the voodoo murders case? I neither know nor care to know, Mr. Knight. My only possible interest is in how it might affect the public's attitude towards the museum. So far, it has not been an issue. No one has even had the bad taste to bring it up. Until you, that is. Ahem. <coughs> yes, well. Uh, snakes. Do you know anything about it? We know he has one. Ah, uh, you have perhaps noticed. For that reason. Oh, uh, yes, that one. They are beautiful creatures. Do you not agree? And the tourists seem to associate them with voodoo. Anything else? They are pretty cool. Is the snake yours? Do you use it in your practice of voodoo? I admire the spirit of this snake, Mr. Knight. But, but snakes like, like the museums can be quite, quite dangerous to handle. Foreshadowing? Didn't really answer my question. I think I did, Mr. Knight. I really like, like there is really Okay, nothing more there. What, can what about this? St. John's Eve. It is one of the important ceremonial nights in Voodoo. Are we one of the important ceremonial nights? The Gabriel Knight? What, what else can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I am afraid I do not know the origins of St. John's Eve. I only know that it was a night of ritual long before Voodoo came to New Orleans. Uh, what about this? Do you have any idea what Cadiz and Gaul mean? I fear my French, French is not, not all it should, should be, Mr. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Again, in a casual playthrough, I would likely go into business about himself and learn more about the characters and so on, but let's keep things moving. Tell me... Now, in that same spirit, I would normally... Mm, see, now this is where I'm a little uncertain. Should I go into this? There's quite a lot of interesting stuff in the historical and current voodoo stuff, but I'm not sure that any of it's technically required for the game. So, you know what, let's, let's keep going, let's keep moving. Um, especially since we are in a very talky phase of the game. Um, oh, wait, uh, there is one thing that we do want to speak with him for, sorry. Did I ask um, current voodoo. Tell me about Many people take up voodoo in terms of magic spells or griegory. That kind of practice is actually called hoodoo, and it's only a part of true voodoo. Voodoo, the religion, has a strong following in New Orleans. In fact, it is growing quite rapidly. There are several voodoo churches or temples in the city, and others all across the United States. African Americans see it as a tradition all their own. Whites, and there are many in their religion are attracted to it because they think it is exotic. I personally am more interested in, in the history of voodoo. Some of the new movements are copying Haitian or even African voodoo. But it is the voodoo of New Orleans that I find so intriguing. So yes, so we would be able to get quite a bit of history from him if we went into that. Is there anything else I should know about voodoo? Not if your interest is primarily in voodoo. Hoodoo is of interest to those who study rural folk traditions, but it will not aid you in understanding true voodoo. Uh, anything else? Is there anything else? Not it. No, okay. Tell, Tell me more about current voodoo. There are many voodooans in New Orleans. They are often do business selling grigri, telling fortunes, providing luck, and occasionally Misfortune. Perhaps hmm. you would like to meet ah, this is what I was digging for. We refer those who seek a deeper experience with Voodoo to a local practitioner. My Jetta Moonbeam. Sure, I'd love to meet her. She lives on the corner of Orleans and Dauphine. I will call her and tell her you might stop by. Great, thanks. Alright, that's what I came for. For now, at least for now. There's the snake that was mentioned, by the way. Another drummer out there. Being completely innocuous, of course, I'm sure. I'm going. Walk carefully out there, mister. That doesn't feel as well-intentioned as it should to me. And there we go, there's Magenta Moonbeam's place has now been added. Um... And do I want to stop anywhere else? I think we might be finishing the day with a visit to Malia, to Malia Gedi, but uh, well, let's talk with uh, Miss Moonbeam first. He's a nice icon, actually. Welcome, Seeker. You must be the one Dr. John called me about. I must. My name is... Wait? Gabriel Nye? <laughs> You're too quick for me. I'm Sure, Dr. John didn't tell her that. Actually, oh, there we are. Fair. You have come to the right place. Thank you for your honesty, Magentia. Uh, I note, by the way. A large sluggy snake rests on the floor of the fancy birdcage. Seems a little confining. Magentia is not a fastidious housekeeper. A shared skin shares the cage with its original owner. Oh, shame. Poor thing stuck in there with that skin. Um, and of course, we have all sorts of paraphernalia, including a nice uh, crystal ball, as is tradition. Could I ask you a few questions? Of course, Seeker. Here's Miss Moonbeam. Uh, well, tell me about Voodoo. Tell me about Voodoo. My practice is mainly selling charms and potions with magic power such as Grigri and voodoo oils. You know, everything from unrequited love to wandering spouses to winning a lawsuit. For a moment I read that as wandering spirits. Powerful, and they work. Okay, um, what else do you know? Can you tell me about voodoo? Much of a voodoo yen's work 
is protecting her clients from the spell of others. I make special protective Grigri to be worn in secret. They keep evil spells from working against my clients. Anything what else? Can you tell me about voodoo? The recipes for voodoo charms have been handed down from master to apprentice for centuries. Mm. What can you do? I have told you all. Okay. Um. What, what about this? About the voodoo murders. Why? Well, that, that has nothing to do with me and my clientele. But I can tell you that you should stay as far from it as possible. Good luck there with that. There is badness there. Very bad. Yeah, no, I don't disagree. So you don't think the voodoo aspects of the case are fake? Fake? Let me tell you about fake. If I get information through the grapevine and make use of it, is that fake? No. That is part of a voodoo DM's power. If people don't believe, there is not much I can do. But if they do believe, that is a part of my power too. But there are things, monsieur. Things not even a little bit fake, I can tell you. Believe it or not, but stay away from it. Hmm, interesting. What do you mean? Do you know something about the case? I will work hard on fine-tuning my spiritual antenna, Monsieur Knight. And I get a clear signal from that direction. Beware. In all fairness, she's not wrong. What do you mean? I work Okay. Uh, snakes. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? You mean like my beloved Grimwald? Aww. She's a python, you know. Quite deadly in the wrong hands. I was trained by one of the great voodoo queens to learn how to hypnotize and handle snakes. I will come back to that. Uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. Um, tell me What's more about this. St. John's Eve. St. John's Eve? It is the greatest night of the voodoo year. There is always a traditional conclave on St. John's Eve. Most of our voodoo churches these days hold functions in the church hall. But in the old days, they had ceremonies out in the wild. Interesting. And animal masks and had hmm. a huge bonfire and dancing. We've seen an animal mask recently. Sometimes in the swamp, you know. Bayou St. John. Sometimes at the lake. Lake Pontchartrain. Familiar location. What's the signal? Special ceremonies are performed, and the lower come to ride the faithful. What's this? There is no night more powerful to voodoo magic. Do you have any idea what Gabrisa Gaur means? Uh, no. No, no I, I don't. don't. Sounds a little flustered there. Do you have... Tell me hmm. about the animal. I saw them used once or twice when I was younger, but you don't see them much anymore. They are too... close. Too close to what? Just bad karma. Hmm. They bring you too near to something dangerous, perhaps? Tell me about the end. I don't know what else to say. Okay. Uh, Have you ever... I don't know any... Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, tell me about Grigri. Gri. Here's an old one. Take a lodestone and some brimstone to a crossroads at midnight. Light the brimstone with a match, and a spirit will come and give you advice in gambling. Seems like a bad idea to me, but anyway. Uh, all right, tell me about Grimwald. Uh, about Grimwald. What about her? Uh, ooh, uh, lots of interesting things. Uh, we could ask for a scale. We don't have a reason for that yet, but we we do want one anyway. Uh, but yeah, all sorts of interesting stuff. But let's just just ask if we can get a demonstration. How about you show me how you handle Grimwald? Really? You would like to see me dance, perhaps? That would be swell. I won't make you wait, Monsieur Knight. Well, thank you. No matter what you see, do not be frightened. I'll give it my best shot. Wait. 
adventurer to get involved in that, and then uh, nab the uh, the skin. Nice dance, thank you. They are truly inspiring, isn't it? That's certainly one word for it. Ah, uh, right. We'll be going now. Please. Thanks for the warm. Well, I guess I'll be. Peace and harmony be yours. Right. Uh, now I'm gonna. Let me see. Yes, we're gonna want to finish up the Getty estate. So let's pop back into the into St George's for a moment. Lucy, I'm home. Really? I forgot you were gone. <laughs> I do like their banter. Um, so I think I have this. This. this oh, okay, that's what I was trying to do. Let's see. Can we examine? Yep. Magnify the shed skin from my gentia moonbeam snake. The snake scales are hue brown. They don't match the scale from Lake Pontchartrain. Ah, oh, right. That. Of course, we do have reason to look at the snake. Um, Snake scale because we have one. Um, go here that we picked up at Lake Poncha train. It's a very pretty scale. Look at that, Lo lovely iridescence. That would be a lovely snake. Anyway, so yes, we we would be interested in finding evidence of the snake that. Uh, that shed that scale since it was at one of the murder sites. Now the other thing that we want while we're here is we want to see if we can chase down this Madame Cazenor. To which end, let's, uh, oh, uh, just want to see if we can uh, request any, um, any research while we're here. Got it. Uh, anything else? Oh, animal masks. Do you know anything about animal masks? Can I ask her about that? Uh, I'd rather not hear about sex like night. <laughs> oh dear, not not quite what I meant. Thank you. Are you sure you don't know anything about animal masks? I don't. Honest. Honest. Um, messages? Nope. Okay. Can Research? Ah. I need you to look up a Madame Casanou. Madame Casanou? Is she related to the murders the same way your friend Malaga Getty was? Great. Gazanu is at least 70. As if that makes a difference to you. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Anything else? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'd forgotten that that's how we get that done. Um, I think we get to the point that I was thinking of a little bit later. Um, but that's fine. Um, and now that we know about animal masks, Have fun. maybe it's worth revisiting um, the Voodoo, uh, sorry, the Dixieland Drug Store, yes. We can have a proper look at that uh, animal mask again. Uh -huh. The mask appears to be made from a real crocodile head. Okay, let's see if we can ask after that. Can I ask you? Uh, animal masks. Do you know anything about animal masks? Like, like the, the ones in the voodoo rituals they do for the tourists? Right. I used to sell a few. As souvenirs. Of course. The only one left is Willie Jr. over there. <laughs> Cute. The old crocodile. Well, he's sort of a mascot now. Uh, Willie Jr. About Willie Jr. Would you, Would you be, be willing, willing to let him go? Hmm. Maybe. Four hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? You've got to be kidding. Me and Willie Jr. are very close, no. I could talk with him for less. Okay. So we now know what it takes to uh, get hold of that crocodile mask. hundred dollars in the 90s. Alright, with that done... Um, oh, actually before we go to the Getty Estate, we have a little more to talk about with Grandmother Knight, I think. Some family stuff. Related to that picture that we got when we opened the uh, the clock last week. Can 
can't stay away from you, Gran. Make yourself at home, son. Um, so, let's see, not that. This. Does this mean anything to you, Gran? That one in the middle is your grandfather. Those other two, I don't know. Okay. Can we talk? Let's see. Oh, hey, we can ask about various P. Oh, so of course we could. Um, oh, Heinz Ritter. When did that come in? Oh, right. That was on the car, on the Heinz photo. Heinz Ritter. Oh, Gabriel. Where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's closet. Oh, the letter, that's right. I promised I'd never tell you or your father. But I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, mm -hmm. Gran. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before uh -huh. he came to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. Note that a Ritter means knight, if I'm not much mistaken. Why did Granddad change his name? I don't know. I tried to ask him about his family, his life before America, but he didn't want to talk about it. Never even told me about his name change. I found that one day when I saw his passport in a drawer. Since he obviously found it painful, I never questioned him about it. But I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your granddad was the best man I ever knew. Anything else? Didn't Granddad ever say anything about his past or his family? Only that his family was crazy, and that he never wanted to see them again. He believed in some family curse, thought that he could spare Philip and Philip's children from what he called old nightmares. Mm, that doesn't seem to have worked. wanted to spare you, though, it cost him Oof. plenty. Sorry, I would have believed. He sleep well, and he would often get a far away guilty look in his eyes. He was wrestling with something he thought he should be doing. Some place he thought he ought to be. I don't know how him. he could think that he should be anywhere but with me and our child. It's a terrible way to live. Mm, to be torn in two like that, yeah, that would be... That would be a difficult way to live. Do you know anything else about Heinz Ritter? I've told you all I know about your granddad's past. Okay, um... Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Schottenjäger? How odd, Gabriel. I haven't heard that word in years. Uh -huh. Goodness, you're giving me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Ooh, that gave me a chill. <laughs> Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I don't think he answered me. Odd. And interesting. Thanks, Brian. Uh, anything else? I don't know what Okay. I think that's everything for now. Mm, yeah. So, I wonder, can we... Does this mean... Okay, no. Uh, what? The old photograph. The old photograph. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, didn't actually let the that play out. The photograph shows Gabriel's grandfather with two other men, apparently his German, German father, father and brother. With a schloss in the background, we note. All right. Um, and now I think oh, it's man, time to end this. Oh, going. this day. Uh, oh, excuse me a moment. Someone's just come in. I will be back presently.
All right, we'll have to continue next week, I'm afraid. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've had fun. I very much have. Uh, stay well and goodbye.